Welcome to Zenergy, the interactive podcast providing resources for building a better life. I am Zena Shea. I'm your catalyst, your conduit, and your coach to that better life. A coach draws out hidden potential. A conduit connects and a catalyst sparks change. So I am here to do all those three things and To take you on a journey through the ABCs of Zen, every week we'll be focusing on a different word and we'll be looking at tools and food for thought so that you can incorporate those principles into your life and actually improve the quality of your life. Join me and subscribe to Zenergy today. Hey everyone, I wanted to do a uh, kind of personal one solo episode on kind of ozone therapy because it's fairly commonly used, um, at least overseas, not as much used over, um, in the United States. Uh, At least it's not covered by, uh, typically insurance and typical kind of medical doctors, although overseas it's used a lot more. Um, there's different kind of approaches to it. Uh, there is kind of, um, uh, kind of like a single pass, which is what I did, which is where it just goes through your blood once. Um, and then there's 10 pass where it kind of passes through your blood about 10 times. And then there's prolozone where it's, um, kind of injected into sites of like inflammation or pain and like joint issues and stuff like that. Um, I did several treatments and I did them kind of infrequently compared to what other people do. Uh, typically they do, sometimes they do them, um, a few times a week or weekly. I did mine like maybe once or twice a month for several months. Um, I noticed a benefit at first. Um, it did kind of, kind of drop off or kind of feel like over time it wasn't really worth it, especially the cost as the place that I was going to, um, was initially covered by my insurance and that didn't cover all of it. Um, and then over time, um, my insurance didn't cover this naturopath. Uh, and what ozone is, is basically it's a form of, um, oxygen. It's, um, commonly in the atmosphere. It's about, it's O2, um, typically molecules of about two oxygen atoms combined together. And, um, it's typically what we breathe in. Ozone is three, um, atoms and it forms ozone molecule. Um, It's formed, it's, you know, we have the ozone layer, but we also have, it's formed um, kind of during lightning strikes, and that's actually how you kind of produce it. Um, And so you typically need like an oxygen, uh, like kind of medical grade. You can also get commercial grade, depending on how you use it. Um, And then you basically need a generator, which usually uses like electricity to kind of generate it. And then, um, yeah. And so there are some places where it's called insulation, um, where you can do it kind of in ear, nose, um, you can't really breathe it. Um, and, and you can get it like ozonated oils and stuff like that. And you can get it through anal and vaginal cavities as well too. Um, I know some people swear by it. They eventually get an ozone machine and they do it on their own, um, I may in the future, I do like to kind of really try something out before I kind of kind of come to a consensus because I do know people that have gone through ozone treatment. It's helped them a lot. Um, I think it helps a lot with kind of inflammation, kind of it can be antibacterial, antiviral. So if you're dealing with kind of Epstein-Barr, some kind of stealth pathogens like Lyme and co-infections. Um, I think injected kind of locally, it can help with kind of joint issues like TMJ or if you have an injury or stuff like that. And there's different ways of doing that. Um, as far as for me, ozone wasn't really all that helpful. Um, I may come back to it eventually. I have heard that 10 pass is really like the, the best kind to get because you really get, um, it's like getting 10 single pass treatments basically in one but it's a lot more expensive. It's about three times as much. Um, And these aren't covered by insurance, at least over in the United States. You can go to, if you go to say medical tourism and go to some place, maybe in Mexico, maybe overseas, you can probably get it for much cheaper. I don't know of much places that really do 
10 pass um, and 10 pass is basically I want to say it's they typically use like a machine and they kind of run it through your blood like about 10 times or so and I think it, they use a larger volume as of ozone as well too the kind that I was when I was using it it was just kind of injected they took out some blood and they injected it kind of into an IV bag and then it was kind of fed back into it um, which is similar to the 10 pass but this is kind of run through like I want to say centrifugal or like some kind of machine I haven't done it myself um, yet uh, there are I believe you can do kind of like ozone sauna and stuff like that too you can't really kind of breathe it in um, because it is it can be toxic uh, it used to be I believe it used it was used more kind of widely before some kind of other treatments were kind of um, replaced it due to kind of mainstream um, tomfoolery I don't know really how to how to say it um, I think they've come up with you know they use antiviral or antibiotics which you know can help can work at times but not always uh, I may come back to it um, you know if you have any more questions about it or if you need help with health uh, feel free to reach out to me um, also looking to get on some other podcasts as well as have guests on as well too um, I'd like to get kind of experts coaches healers um, even those that have kind of been dealing with chronic health problems um, talk about the journey we even do some of that too uh, yeah I hope you like this episode um, you know you can find it typically o ozone it's typically done through like naturopaths a lot of them do it um, you can, depending on location, you can probably find someone around you. Um, it really varies kind of what you get. If it's like in, I don't know if I'm saying right, infl insufflation, um, which are you kind of like self-administered, it can be kind of cheap. It can be 30 to 50, um, ozone kind of single pass for me, it was about a hundred per session. Um, 10 pass is about 300 more, um, and if you're doing it, depending on how you kind of want to administer it, if it's self-administered, you typically want to do insufflation or use a bubbler. Um, and that is uh, that is a kind of an upfront cost, but you can save money on it if you want to do it yourself. And I believe you can get about probably about the same results too. Um, but it is because you have to get like commercial oxygen or um, commercial grade oxygen you have to get a ozone generator and then you have to get all the equipment for it and i believe at the very least it's about a few hundred at least so yeah just a forewarning but yeah um I'll see you all later hope you enjoy this episode have a good weekend good week um hope this helps uh, feel free to reach out out to me i have a gmail account sign article at gmail.com if you have any questions comments you know whatever etc bye